So as you guys just saw, I just got back from the gym and I'm making myself some breakfast before I go to physical therapy. So what I'm doing here is just a quick uh, mashed tofu burrito basically. So all I'm doing is taking a half block of tofu, crumbling it up in my fingers into a frying pan, letting that brown or crisp, I kind of let it burn a little tiny bit. Then in another pan, I'm getting my veggies ready. So for me, I've got onions, some sliced up mushrooms and some bell peppers. You could definitely do all sorts of different stuff, spinach, kale, you could do any vegetable that you really like. I'm just gonna use a little bit of chili powder and a little bit of paprika to season all this and then I'm gonna throw it in tortilla, wrap it up, put a little bit of nutritional yeast in there and dip it in ketchup and that is my first breakfast. This is definitely a super easy breakfast that you guys can check out as well. Definitely takes no cooking skills at all but it'll make people think that you're a super chef. All right, so I just finished up my burrito and now I am about to brush my teeth and I want to talk to you guys about this toothbrush that I've been using lately and it is so freaking good. So this is the Elements Toothbrush by Dazzle Pro and it is an automatic toothbrush that has a few different settings. There's four different settings. My favorite one is the second setting. I've used automatic toothbrushes before and I find that the intensity of it is always like a little bit lower than I want. And this one always has this extra intense setting and I always use that, which is really nice. When it comes out of the box, this is what it looks like. It has its main sanitation tank and chamber over here so you charge it on this then you put the toothbrush heads inside of the sanitation tank a light goes on and it burns off some of the germs that come from your mouth the other really cool feature on this toothbrush is that every 30 seconds it gives like a half second pause just to let you know that you've done one quarter of your mouth you move to the next quarter next quarter and next quarter and then it turns off so it's like a perfect timer for how long you need to be brushing your teeth if you've been on the channel for a long time you guys have definitely seen me use this toothbrush before I stand by it I think it's awesome I would only tell you about a product that I actually use and I actually think it's worth your money so if you want it you should definitely check it out there's a huge huge discount I'll put it on screen right here and then the link will be below you can click that you guys can check this out if you'd like to now I have to go to my physical therapy so right now I'm stuck in traffic and I'm probably already about 10 minutes late so I'm probably gonna end up being 20 30 minutes late now this is an opportunity to either let the whole day just unravel and turn into a bad day or since there's nothing that I can do about this literally there's nothing in the world anybody can do about this you just gotta accept it and move on and be happy about it. It's okay. Definitely super late though. <laughs> Hola amigo. How you doing man? Yeah. What do you wanna do another week? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Thursday 15th, if it's open. Yeah, and wide open. I'm gonna do 11. Wide open. Yeah, 11 would be awesome. It is 2 o'clock, 2.20 actually, and I'm about to go film Kurt's girlfriend at 3 o'clock at an abandoned gas station. She's a dancer. I've got this awesome setup for these kind of dance videos because I've got the fish eye and I've also got the stabilizer and everything. Um, so I'm just making some food before then and I'll show you guys what I'm about to eat. How you doing? You ready to make some food with me? Huh? Huh, you beautiful? You ready to make some baked potatoes? You ready to make some baked potatoes? Huh? All right, so in a frying pan, I'm just gonna make a mash out of some cooked quinoa right here. That's what I have right here. I'm gonna put some refried beans in here and some salsa and mix it up into a little bit of a mash that I'm gonna put on top of some baked potatoes. So I had three baked potatoes cooking for about an hour at 415 Fahrenheit in the oven. And what I do is I just cut vertically down the potato before I put it in the oven. And then as it cooks, it makes a very easy split to pull this apart and just have two halves. Then we're just gonna take our quinoa and refried bean and salsa mix and just put it on top. And we're kind of just making like some loaded Mexican potatoes. It's just, we're doing it a little bit differently than like brown rice and black beans and stuff like that. We're adding a little quinoa in there just to change it up and because it's got some good protein and fiber. I don't know if you guys can see this avocado in the background, but this is how you take the seed out, right? You just go boom and then you twist it. You gotta stab and twist, stab and twist. And boom, there we have it. This is the completed dish. And maybe you want to put nutritional yeast on here if you like it. You know, add a little bit of cheesiness, but that's that. Actually, I'm running out of time. This is the second time I've ran out of time today. I'm running out of time, so I'm actually eating my potatoes here on the drive over there. Hopefully I'm finished by the time I get there. All right, so we are in the middle of nowhere and we have an abandoned gas station that we're gonna shoot at. So I'm pretty excited about this. No basura, no trash. Basura used to be my favorite word in Spanish. Fun fact. Everyone's got matching outfits. Right? Cool, huh? <laughs> you gotta show us how to make them, guys. Oh, wow. Got flowers, got the makeup. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You ready for this, you. Nicole? I love you. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend, the fork master. 
It's not as effective when I follow you. You can't run around the lens when I'm following you. Mofo. Oh, 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 between the legs, between the legs. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. oh! Well, you missed out on the bonus points. Damn it. We're here. They are getting synchronized and ready and stuff. We're at this really awesome abandoned gas station. I don't know how they found this place, but I always look for abandoned places in San Diego. It's impossible. This is going to be really cool. I'm also going to come back here with some colored smoke grenades and do some more music videos when we have a little bit more time. Ooh, I took the game with my eyes closed. Last verse was before the award show. What? Icons had it on my torso. Huh? Me and Moy dipping in the Porsche. So what? I ain't even taking on torso. What? Your shit is fire. I'm more so. What? Young Jaden dying on the floor. So what? She broke my heart to the core. So what? I guess we all gotta grow up. How'd you feel it went? I'm just gonna carry this with me. Pretty all. good. Woo! You feel confident like about it? Icons. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. God. How'd you feel? Amazing. Are you excited about it? Yes, very. This project's my baby. We've been doing this a little. We have class once a week for like the last month and a half, probably. Yeah. Probably learned it in like three classes, three or four classes. Oh yeah, so it's short. So like, that. Wow, yeah, that's like a fast. month. Yeah. So you picking it up yet, Kurt? I know this part. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. So good. And I know this part. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> she doesn't want to listen. <laughs> Get it, girl. Work it. All right, back at the house. And this is my favorite part of the day. I do it a few times a week in all my videos, but check it out. Oh, that's that sunset, all those lights. Look at that color. Beautiful. Wonderful. I love you, sunset. This is so good. I'm about to show you guys how to make stir fry with udon noodles. It is super simple too, and it'll make people think that you actually know what you're doing in the kitchen. All that you need to do is throw a bunch of broccoli and a bunch of sliced mushrooms into a frying pan and just let that go for three to five minutes, just flipping it constantly. Once it's nice and cooked down to the crunchiness level that you like your broccoli at, then you're just gonna throw in your boiled udon noodles. So either be boiling them on the side or get the pre-boiled udon noodles. Toss that in there and then just put two to four tablespoons of your favorite teriyaki sauce or I'm using very, very teriyaki which is kind of a mix of soy sauce and teriyaki. Throw it in a bowl, put some sesame seeds on it so it looks like you know what you're doing again and then boom, you have a really, really, really delicious meal. You're getting tons of uh, veggies in there. And if you want to, you can throw tofu in there and you have some protein, or you can throw in tempeh or whatever you want to. Uh, definitely modify this and try it out. It is really, really freaking good. Next up, we're just gonna have some asparagus. Pretty simple. Earlier, we just put about two caps worth of olive oil, and I just like use the cap of the olive oil itself. That way we use very little. Um, sprinkled it, put a little salt on there. It's just a really, really good snack. If you've never tried these, try them. Just be prepared, because they kind of have a weird fibrous texture, but eventually you really like them. All right, so I was gonna cook something else, but what I really want right now is some banana ice cream. So I'm gonna throw three quarters of this bag in here. So it's probably like, I'd say three bananas. I'm also gonna throw a scoop of this Vivo. Uh, this one is the vanilla one. This is my second favorite next to the salted maca caramel. I'm just gonna throw this in there to get a little bit of protein in there, just also because it tastes really freaking good. It makes it taste definitely like an ice cream. I'm gonna throw some cacao nibs in there as well for some chocolate chips. So that, my friends, is everything that I'm eating for today. Today was pretty busy all the way up until just about like five o'clock tonight. So everything in the morning was all stuff that I was doing just in kind of panic mode. Stuff that you can definitely try as well to do really quickly and it's really tasty even though it's really fast. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Team Beyond the Week, CT. Lift heavy or die, Myron, motherfucker. Mm. Team Beyond the Week.